Hi, this is Mark Witten, co-creator of Bloody Disgusting's The Hotel, and your lobby boy. For early access to ad-free episodes, monthly bonus episodes, and postcards, access to our behind-the-scenes podcast, We Made the Hotel, and to get your name in our guest book, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash the hotel. Thanks for listening. Stepping out of the darkness, there's always a moment, just a moment, where I have to wait for the hotel to find its shape. Even I never know what shape it'll take, but once it settles into itself, I always recognize it. It's a part of me, I think. It's my responsibility, anyway. I have to make sure everything is operating smoothly. Make sure my employees are doing their jobs. Make sure the guests are all taken care of. We're expecting a lot of growth this upcoming quarter, and we can lag behind. Even I have to answer to someone. Ah. Tonight, the hotel is large and lavish. The doors to the lobby are twice as tall as I am, and the wraparound porch is lit with gas lanterns. I'm not easily impressed, and this form doesn't move me. That's not what I came to monitor. Not this time. Tonight, I'm checking up on the manager. Good evening, sir. This is unexpected. I wasn't anticipating you until much later. She goes on and on. I recognize her. I think we've met before. I wouldn't have hired her. But I don't get to choose what form the staff takes, either. She takes too much time with the guests. Patience is a skill I left behind long ago. The task is endless, and we're not rewarded for artfulness. We're not rewarded at all. I have many managers to deal with. I tell her so. She slides the guest book across the counter to me. Tonight, it's just as ornate as the hotel. Thick and leather-bound, heavy gold-leaf pages, only one name. Tonight's guest has already checked in. Room 4275, sir. I gesture towards the door behind the counter. I don't have to ask to use the office, but courtesy keeps the staff on their toes. She nods and opens the door for me. I step through without a word and the hotel falls away. I'm back in the void. There's the guest. Room 4275 is slowly filling with sand. The guest seems very upset by this. Maybe he's just confused. It's hard to tell. I make a mental note for my report. This is the kind of flourish we don't need at the hotel. A clean kill. Some basic torture. That's all that's needed. It makes the same point. Sends the same message. I assume this manager likes to play these games to help her pass the time. But that's not why she's here. Hmm. The guest is up on his bed now. The sand is sprouting cacti. Razor-sharp cacti that covers the floor and creeps up the walls. I can see now he's not just confused, but terrified. Just a few succulents and sand, and his heart rate is dangerously high. I'm watching him so closely, it's not until he begins to scream that I notice the spiders. Flushing out and over the cacti, speeding up the bed toward him. His only respite is to throw himself at the wall, 
trying to climb the desert plants. He must know I'll climb after him. But still he scrambles. He does the best he can until he's bled too much and his hands go slick and he falls onto the bed, onto the spiders. They consume him. Quickly, but probably not as quickly as he would have liked. I watch until he's gone and all that's left is blood and sand. I have to admit to myself, the manager's methods may have some merit. This was a wholly effective staging. I'd planned to prepare a room for her myself and assign a new manager. But for now, I may have been wrong. Or at least, hasty. I don't need to tell her this, though. I don't even bother leaving through the lobby. I shift myself out to the void. I have other works to tend to before I come back. I still need to audit her lobby boy. The Hotel was created and produced by Travis McMaster and Mark Witten. Starring Kelly Ninaltowski as the manager. Mark Witten as the lobby boy. Graham Rowett as the owner. And Krista Lewis. Music by Lauren Picorni, West Rodri, and special guest composer Zach Tatum Drake. Thank you.